All right. In today's video, uh, we are going to talk about uh, a utility called SQL package. So let's Google um, what is the SQL package. So if you Google the keyword SQL package, you will immediately lead to the Microsoft website. So let's click on the SQL package. So the SQL package is a command line utility that automates the following database task. And basically what they do, it is basically um, do export and import. So it is a kind of logical data uh, movement uh, utility. Okay. So this uh, SQL package support multiple platform, cross platform, uh, from um, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and also support uh, across different SQL Server versions from on-premise SQL Server, and also to the Azure uh, SQL, a different uh, SQL version, and also um, Azure SQL Managed Instance, Azure. SQL are in the virtual machine. Okay, so here is the uh, the syntax. Uh, so where when you invoke this, they give uh, different parameters. So for example, the most common used, uh, you know, let's take a look and uh, let's see a uh, source database name. So you can short use slash sdn. So we will see example to, to um, you know, it's more clear instead of read this menu. So in summary, SQL package, it is a command utility to support across the platform uh, data movement, okay, export, import. Uh, in DB2, there's a similar tool called DB2 move. In Oracle, it's this XDP, X data pump, and um, IMTP. Okay, so this is similar too. Okay, and uh, also behind these SQL packages, it's basically use BCP to um, the bulk uh, uh, copy uh, to do the data move. All right, so let's go to the uh, download and then install SQL package. So from here, you see it says uh, cross platform. So also the installation is fairly straightforward. They support different um, method. Uh, one of the method is basically you can download the zip file. Let's see for the Windows, for Mac OS, and Linux. Just download the zip file and unzip it. It's ready to go. So you basically download the binary, uh, like um, Tara, uh, zip file, and unzip it, and uh, you're wrong. Okay. For the Windows, you can also do um, MSI installer. So but in this demo, I'm going to just simply use uh, the zip, okay? So, all right. So, let's go to a diagram. Uh, so, so here is the uh, diagram I'm going to using for this demo. So, basically, a SQL package, it is a database move. Uh, the uh, called logical uh, data move. It's not like a backup recovery. So that is the uh, physically uh, you back up the database and restore. Okay. So this is the logic move. You basically export the data, not like uh, physical byte by byte those kind of um, data move. Okay. So for example, if you have a database on premise, uh, you want to uh, move the database um, to uh, Azure SQL, then you can use this logical move method. For example, you do a export uh, the database uh, at a certain um, version of SQL Server, that's the SQL Server 2017 or 19, and then you import it into the Azure SQL because Azure SQL it's different from the uh, this typical traditional SQL Server different, okay? That is what you cannot simply use 
uh, backup and the restore method, you're going to use the uh, SQL package, this uh, method. Um, of course, you can use uh, uh, SSMS, uh, use the, the GUI interface to do this. But because in the real world, sometimes you have to uh, use command line to automate this process, okay? So you cannot use uh, SSM, uh, SSMS to do this, okay? If it's a manual, just for once, you know, you can do this. But in general, if you uh, do like um, DevOps, those kind of things, you'll have to use the uh, command line too, okay? Okay, so let's go to a uh, demo. So in this demo, uh, I'm going to use uh, a source. Uh, in my demo, the source database, it is a SQL Server 2002 on Windows. And the target database, it is um, uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2019 on Linux. Okay, so this is uh, the demo environment. I'm going to uh, use, okay, so let's go back to home, let me see. So in this case, um, so this is to, um, it is Windows Server. It's in, in my case, the name is W2.22. This is uh, Ubuntu Linux Server. So this is a uh, Ubuntu, okay. You see, we'll see shortly Ubuntu Server. So this one, it is uh, a Windows uh, 2022 server. Okay. So on this server, um, we have a small database. So I'm going to just uh, use this utility to um, to um, copy this database into this uh, Linux server. Okay. So if this is error, so that's fine as well. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you can do back and forth uh, either way. Okay. And also regarding the um, so regarding the uh, the SQL utility, because this SQL utility it is a uh, command line too. As long as you can connect to the database, it really doesn't matter where you install the tool, okay? For example, uh, you can, let's see. So uh, uh, you can install here. So you can install here if you want, and then export and then transport to here. And also you can install the SQL utility, uh, SQL packages here. So you can, um, let's see, give me one sec, okay? So if you installed here, what you can do is you can export the data here and then import uh, into the database, okay? And also if you have another uh, server, for example, you have a laptop, if you want to do this way, you said, I'm gonna export the data here and then uh, import into here. That's fine as well. So, but for this demo, we just uh, make it simple. So what I'm going to do is in this demo, so I'm going to install the uh, SQL here. So I'm going to install the um, SQL package here, okay? Package, okay. So I'm going to install the SQL package here. And uh, from here, I invoke the SQL package and run the export um, export utility. So basically, it's going to export the data uh, to here on this box, and then use the SQL package import into the database okay the requirement is here you have you must have empty database uh, in order to uh, import the data okay so we will see the demo it will be it becomes clear very uh, simple okay 
So All right, so let me go to the demo, uh, demo system. Okay, so we, um, so the demo system, we have a source, it's uh, here, and then we have a target. Let's examine the uh, source and the target, okay? So I'm going to use SSM to, uh, to, uh, to uh, just to see what database they are, you know, those kind of things. So let me connect to the, the source. So the source database, it, to on the a server um, W22, so let me connect, okay? When it's connect, uh, you can see I have a database called F004, okay? So let's also connect to my target database. So my target database is on the Linux box, so it's H2, so I'm gonna connect as well. So you can see right now, I don't have any database. This is just uh, easy to view, okay? We don't have to do. But I just use SSMS to uh, to show that uh, what is the current environment I have. Okay, so I'm close um, minimize this window. So let's go to uh, step one. So we're gonna install the SQL package. Okay, to install SQL package, I'm going to use Microsoft website. It says um, basic says uh, you download this zip file, and after the zip file. Uh, you make a directory and unzip it, and then if you want, you can like add the path. Okay, so very simple. Okay, so it is supported to like uh, Red Hat, uh, uh, Ubuntu, uh, and so on. So, so oh, I made a mistake. So, but uh, uh, let me just correct it. Okay, so actually, it's not. Uh, in my case, it's not Ubuntu. It's it's a CentOS, an older server. Originally, I was using the Ubuntu, so it is not available at this moment. I have switched to a different Linux server. Okay, so let me correct this one. Where it is here. Okay, so, so this is server is not Ubuntu. It's a CentOS uh, server. Okay, it's like a Red Hat uh, family. Okay, it's a CentOS. All right. Okay. So this is the our environment. So now I'm going to go to the uh, in, uh, install. Okay, the install is fairly simple. So basically, uh, you first get this. Um, you get uh, uh, get uh, the um, get the um, installer. Okay. So let me uh, remove the directory. So we're gonna get a, a start of, uh, from a scratch. So you can, uh, what you can do is uh, one thing you can do, let's see, um, I'm going to uh, like uh, download this uh, Linux, uh, Linux, you click this, they will download it to your uh, uh, laptop, then you upload it to, uh, to the uh, Linux server, okay? So in my case, I'm going to just uh, directly download it from the internet, from the Linux server, okay? Before that, let me first make a directory. So I'm going to use this directory to hold this uh, image. And then I'm going to use curl to download this uh, package, okay? So this is the, um, the command line. Um, I'm going to download it from, uh, from uh, from uh, uh, Microsoft, okay? So if you see the syntax, it is like this, right? So this is the URL Microsoft provided. So this is the zip file. And I use curl to save it uh, It's a name. This name really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna hit return. Uh, and then you will see um, uh, unknown error, cannot resolve the host. Let's see, let me try one more time. Oh, maybe the, um, maybe the network thing. So, oh, let me, but I already downloaded, so let me just uh, copy, okay? And uh, somehow probably my network's not working. Okay, let me see if I can pin the Google. 
Yeah, I can claim Google. But uh, regardless, uh, let me try one more time. Oh, no, cannot. Oh, not, uh, oh, uh, I made a hypo. This should be the lowercase, oh, no, not uppercase, okay? All right, so let me download. Um, all right, it's downloaded, okay? You see, in my current directory, I have a, oh, let me remove also, let me try, try one more time. I don't know why I have the two of them. <laughs> Uh, let me remove them. Okay. Let me remove. Do one more time. Curl. All right. So it should be have one. Okay. So okay. This is the SQL package uh, I just downloaded, right? So now I'm going to unzip it. Okay. So you can just uh, use uh, Linux unzip or use if you're on Windows, you just use um, um, Windows unzip utility. So I'm gonna down, unzip this one. So you will see that I'm gonna unzip this bunch of um, uh, files. Why is that? So let's to see. Uh, you will see the executables. So that is one we're gonna to use. Okay. So you will see. Um, this is the executable, the C code uh, package. We're gonna execute it to uh, to export data and import data. On the Windows, this is going to be SQL package.exe, okay? On the Linux, it's just SQL package. On Windows, there's many ways to do that, okay, to install SQL package. Sometimes if you already installed a, like, a, a Visual uh, Studio, you already have the SQL package installed. You don't have to install separately, okay? There's a, another way to uh, use a Windows MSI installer to install as well, but... Uh, Regardless of what method you use to uh, install this package, you do, do you know mainly we just need to know how to use this package, okay? All right, so but here um, you will see um, I guess Microsoft didn't package this uh, uh, the zip file correctly because you see that right now they don't have the execution bit, so we're gonna have to change it uh, to in order to uh, execute, okay? So we're gonna um, give the execution. So now if you see one more time, you will see this is the package, it is executables, okay? So, all right, so the install is successful and uh, then we're gonna use this to, uh, to do a demo on how to move the data, okay? So the, the SQL package is very, very flexible. You can move the whole database. You can move like server, uh, server table. And so in this demo, I just uh, for the, um, to um, not make the, uh, the video too long. So I'm just demo a whole database, okay? So before you, let's just invoke this uh, SQL package. If you just tap this, they give you the basically the syntax. You see, if you go to the um, the top, you will see um, SQL. Uh, let, let's see, um, you can use uh, help. Okay, help are different. So on the top, there's a one called action. You see, action. What kind of thing you want to do? It can be extract. Uh, can be uh, export can be import, it can be published, okay? So the extract is basically extract um, the schema definition, no, no data, okay? So um, we're not demo here, but we only demo this one, export and import for whole database. And also those action can be um, use short name, it's like slash A, okay? Followed up by karma, okay, so and so on and so forth. And uh, you can see it is um, actually it's very easy to use just based on the uh, name. For example, um, here you see it's going to be a source database name. So it can uh, simplify as SDN, okay, and uh, source. Um, 
password, it's going to be SP, you know, and so on and so forth. So, okay, so let's do the... So here's uh, uh, the, the, chem, the demo uh, command to the export the database. So SQL package that is executable. In my case, action is export. What is this SSN? SSN means the short for source server name. So in my case, it's a Windows box. And then follow the source database name. It's very easy to read, although it's short, right? Once you know the pattern, it's very easy to read. You see, source database name. So in my case, the name is FOOFU. And then SU. So SU, it is source user. I'm going to use SA user. Then source password, OK? SP, followed by the TF. So the TF means target file. So basically, we export the data and save as a target file. So we save this target file in location. In this case, I'm putting into this location, slash temp, uh, foo, and the name called backpack. Yeah, if you're doing uh, those um, database migration from, you know, you will deal with a lot with backpack or deck pack, you know. This one is something new added in the recent version. So it's called the source um, encryption something. Um, I don't remember the exact name, okay? So we can find out. So let me, uh, let me, uh, I don't, uh, can copy paste. So let me go back to the uh, command window. All right, so I'm going to go back to the command window. And so I already have this uh, staged uh, somewhere. Okay, so this is my command. Let me just copy paste. Okay, so I'm going to run this command export and so on. So forth, okay, and here um, the database name is called FOO. So I make we make it short. Okay. And uh, F okay. So as you see, it's the source. Uh, let me see where's the source. Uh, let's go back to you. okay. So as you see here, it's a source in encryption, uh, encrypt uh, connection called SEC. Okay. So and. Uh, that one have a like a like a optional mandatory true false by default it is a true so that is what because we don't use the encryption at this time so we're going to put into the false okay so if you don't do that, you, you get an error message. Okay, so let me try. So you will see this is the error message. So what I have to do is I have to put this back. Okay, I have to use SEC equals false. Okay, source encryption connection. Okay, so all right. So then you can see from this command line this. Okay, connect the database full on server W22. And then they're going to export the schema and then export this, uh, the data. So it takes about uh, a few 10 seconds. And then the file it's going to, uh, in our case, is this the file I, put, I just put into slash temp. Okay, it's a small file because it's, it's a demo. For real world, you, you have to find enough. Uh, space if you have a large data base okay so actually this is the file it is a compressed file you can if you can if you want to unzip it you can see what is inside basically some xml file and the back like a bcp uh, uh, file okay bulk uh, copy so i don't want to go to further detail about this but i just see this is a backpack file 
So this backpack file can be imported into the source, the data destination, okay? So in this case, we only have two tables, badge and woods, okay? So a two small tables, so um, just for demo purpose, because I don't want to uh, take too long time to export a decent large database, rather just a small database for demo. So now we have, let's take a look. So, so this is the file, I just export it. All right, so we're gonna use this file import into, so in, if we go back to this demo, right? So we run this SQL package on this Linux host and uh, pull the data from Windows database onto the Linux uh, server, okay? So now we are going to use the same SQL package uh, utility to import into this uh, SQL server. As I said, you don't have to um, do uh, use uh, the SQL package physically installed on this server. You can install even on this side and export and import as well. You can use another host, you know, another box to do the same thing, okay? So it's very flexible, okay, uh, this, uh, this too. Okay, let's go to the uh, import this DB. So we already showed from SSMS, uh, right now it's empty, so we're going to just go ahead to do the uh, import, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my uh, command window. So I'm going to retrieve uh, the, the command uh, I'm going to use, okay? Here's the command I'm going to use. So I'm going to use uh, SQL package action is import. Now you see it's a TSN that is target server name, but the target server name is pointing to the H2, that is the Linux server. And then target the database name, okay? So you can call whatever you want, but I just want to use the same target name, you know? And here is the target user, so same, and the target password. So I will make it as simple as user SQL, okay? In the real world, of course, you can uh, use a complicated password, okay? So now it is uh, the source file. Uh, if you remember earlier, we used TF, that is we export uh, to a target file. Now we're gonna um, import. So the target file becomes source file, okay? So it's going to be slash temp and uh, full dot backpack. So, then earlier we use source encryption connection is false. So we similarly we're gonna use target encryption connection is false. I believe you don't have to because the default is false, okay, for this import. But just for safe, I just put here, okay? And now let's see, we're gonna return. Now you can see connecting the database foo on H2 and then uh, do the uh, import. Once the import's done, they're gonna create a schema and import the uh, data, okay? And uh, so uh, this is uh, going to be a quick demo. So let's go back to the SSMS. So they do give you some, uh, you know, and you can see it. Let's go back to the SSMS. Now, if I do a refresh, good database. See, uh, I have this full database. It's going to have two table uh, in my case, okay? So, as I said, for this import to successful, you must provide a, the, a empty database or either the uh, empty database or the database have, uh, you know, it is a uh, the, uh, non-existing database. If you want to, uh, let's give a uh, try. So if I do the same thing, you see, you will see, uh, give your error says, yeah, you have to, um, you know, like uh, give a empty database or the 
non-existing database uh, you will see you see it's, uh, the data cannot be import uh, one or more user you cannot have uh, user objects okay so that is the uh, requirement and uh, preferably typically you can uh, see let's uh, if i drop this one and then you will try again you will success okay so this is uh, the requirement so let's uh, do a quick uh, summary so basically uh, we demoed uh, uh, what is the SQL package? This is a command line tool for data move, uh, logic data move, basically in the database world called export import. Okay, and they support uh, a different uh, uh, platform, Windows, uh, Linux, macOS. It doesn't matter on which platform is cross platform, and you can move a database from on premise uh, to cloud. And vice versa, unpromised uh, pro to uh, unpromised, I don't know, for Linux to Windows to Linux, uh, Windows to Linux, from Linux to macOS, and whatever uh, way you, you you want, it is a logical database move. Okay, and basically, see, I I'm going to export the schema definition and then uh, export the imported data. Okay, that is uh, very flexible. Of course, you see this is logic move. If you move a very large database, probably it can take lots of time. But still, and it's a very useful tool and very flexible. And the performance wise, it is uh, I would say it's pretty good. Uh, the use BCP um, behind the screen, also uh, use compress, you know compress the data okay all right so that's for today it's just a a quick demo uh, for this uh, SQL package uh, utility I do believe probably this is the first one um, the, the video uh, on the internet uh, with uh, pretty detailed um, uh, information okay of course there's a lot more to add, uh, to explore you know um but then if you want to go deep you can go further okay so all right so that's for